Hello, and welcome to Playtime. I'm your host, Altagamer2004, and as you can see, I'm back with Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, for the first time. After Drake, Drake's Fortune and Among Thieves, I'm really excited to get into this. I'm also not excited to see how, what kind of demon monster we fight this time. First time we found, found El Dorado and naked zombie men. All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Lawrence of Arabia. So the first time we found El Dorado and Naked Zombie Men, then we were after the Chittamanti Stone, which made demon yeti things. And then the first one was uh, Francis Drake. This one, the second one was Marco Polo. What famous explorer's treasure are we looking for now? Strictly no credit, don't ask. I'm sure Nate and Sully get credit, though. Hands up. Okay, so the first game started off with a shooting intro. Up, huh? The second one started off with a climbing intro. Is this one going to start off nice with a brawling welcome. intro? They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot. Mr. Sullivan. Is this the bad guy? Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's uh, see the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. You're selling it's your ring? Of course. Silver. But six, 16th century. What was it? Six, Elizabethan design. Harvest Magnum? Magna? Described with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Sick par well. It Why? To be genuine. Of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. No! Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate. Let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. Yep, it's a brawling intro. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. Oh, you got this one's more. Yeah, you and me. Not the poker table. Come on, me. Come on. 
Hey, I defeated my first enemy. Time to rest. So I'm essentially Batman. Ow. When I'm actually brawling people, this is almost like the Batman mechanic. Or, uh, the same mechanic used in Spider-Man. But I guess these two came first, then. Real bad idea. Throw a nearby enemy, press circle while uh, holding in the... liking this fighting mechanic like the first one was okay push a button combo to like instantly defeat them the second one was okay fight until they actually like try to counter you and then push triangle and then you win this one actually has a mechanic like this actually feels like fighting Give me a second there, mate. I'll be right with you. I'm gonna throw him into the condom machine. Okay, ready for more. No, condom machine. Swirly! You okay in there? You hurt? Just my pride. They're gonna need a plunger. <laughs> Give them a swirly. Flush the toilet. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Here. Get out the back. Uh... Not yet. Look like shit. Ugh. Doesn't smell like it. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. Oh, I forgot to turn my notifications off. Sorry about the big, the big black box, and I'm sorry about the blue screen. Antique boxing medallion. Can I turn on the jukebox? Okay, I guess that's everything. Hold on, I want a beer first. Oh, no, wait, there's another treasure. Oh, what's this one? Brass Vesta case? What the... F what, what the... What's a Vesta case? Stop him! I've got the old geezer! How's that for you? 
Man, I love... Yeah. I'm loving the environment fighting in this. Oh, I should have used the boiling pot. Oops. Oh, crap. I could I could take him. Uh, damn it. Oh, this is a cutscene. They're going to get beat up. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Is that supposed to be Jason Statham? Haven't you, mate? I mean, I know the voice is not Jason Statham, but the, Stay down. the design of the character looks like Jason Statham. Is this going to be Elena? No. This is going to be Elena, isn't it? No. Okay. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. I want a knife umbrella. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. <sighs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give but that back. That's his ring. Cut her. Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up. You fool. Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on, they're a right pair of arseholes. What? Okay, so, like... How do they survive that? They're bleeding to death in a gutter from bullet wounds? Well, not in a gutter, in a back alley in a trash can. Twenty years earlier. Ooh, so we get to learn about the origin of Nathan. El Pirata. Francis Drake. All right. Here we go. Do I got to check in? No. That's missing a thing. Okay, yeah. I don't understand what I'm looking for yet. Hmm. Oh, no, that's not it either. Yeah, I don't want to, um... No, that's not it either. I didn't play Uncharted to actually visit a museum. If I wanted to visit a museum, I would visit a museum. I don't know what I'm looking for. Probably in the back here.
And even if I do find oh. what I'm supposed to be looking for, how do I even interact with it? It's in a glass case. Hey, nope. Not here. Huh. No, stop looking at the historical documents. Hmm, not here. A collection of... What the... What is that? Epaulets? Boom. Is that a coin purse? It is an antique coin purse. Excuse me, dude. Maybe upstairs. Yeah, the journal doesn't help me. Oh, this security guard's gonna sweat me. It's gotta be in one of these cases. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. Oh, no, that's not it either. Okay, I can interact with that. Uh... Jawbone of a legendary shark, huh? Hmm. It's the start of a big daddy. Ah, uh, he was looking for the ring. Okay. I thought he was looking for, like, the ship, and then he had to, like... Rotate the ship to, you know, rotate the figurehead on the ship to open a secret compartment. You can. Young Victor Sullivan looks so refined. <laughs> yeah, they're not obviously... Okay, I know a little bit of Spanish. That was way too fast for me to understand, and there wasn't even it the Dude, rude. Oh. There he is. There wasn't even the, you know, speaking Spanish subtitle this time, like there was in the last game to speaking Tibet. Gotta keep up with him. This time he just spoke his language and it didn't even tell you what language he was speaking. Oh, 
Don't mind if I do. There's... Yeah, there's flies around it. I don't think you want to eat that. Now where did he go? Where is he going? Okay, so you introduce the cover mechanic and then you don't have him turn around to force use of the cover mechanic. Intro why? Like this would have been so much better if it's locked. You introduce, you know. Looks like he's going upstairs. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way up. It's a good thing I can climb. I want to go over to the. No, okay. Wrong way. But that would have been so much better if, you know, they introduced this stealth, this cover mechanic, and then... Yo! T thank you. What's he doing in there? Introduced the cover mechanic and then made you kind of have to, like, stealth around... Yo! Come on, young Nate. That's a ticket. Gracias. Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. Oh, no, no, there's a treasure right there. What is that? Is that an arm, armor piece? Shamanistic jaguar head. No, 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 I didn't want to jump! Time paradox. Spot him from the roof. Yeah, I'm already on the roof. Yeah, climbing across slanted ceramic tiles is not oh. the easiest thing. Who's your friend? Uh. I'm going, game. I'm going. Get off my back. Oh, hey. Damn it. Don't want to go down there. Marlo. The woman who was responsible for us getting shot. I gotta find a way to get that wallet. Okay. It's right there in his pocket. My chance. 
Really? You didn't feel that at all. Crap. Yeah. Swag to me, viejo. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah. Not likely. Okay, so subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Don't tell me I gotta fist fight Solly. What? Has a little Nate. My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. And he doesn't instantly check it to make sure the key's there. Like, seriously, Sullivan is not that dumb. That he doesn't check for that key. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Like, that is so obvious! I knew it was coming, and I'm not even a thief! Alright. Museum's closed. I missed the jump. Museum's closed. <gasps> you know, little Nate is really strong for his age to be able to be climbing like this like old Nate is is strong to be doing everything he does but this kid like he's doing stuff that okay that that's not a door I thought he missed for a second. Oh, that was close. Museum's closed, but we're going to leave this window wide open. Okay. That wasn't there before. Who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now. The ring. Oh. 
what ring? <laughs> Bad idea. Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Stop the boy! Holy crap. Okay, That's just right. run. Just run. Okay, up up on the uh the ring. Break the door down. Crash camp. Oh god. He's heading for the roof. Okay, fix camera angle suck. Was I supposed to go somewhere? Oh. Who the hell are these guys? Over, over, over. Thank you. Thanks, Sully. I owe you one. Um, um. Oh. I, I hit the window. I'm like, wait, what? Okay, seriously, how does a kid survive that? We've got him. Excuse me, coming through. Hey, guess again. Sorry about that. Sorry about knocking your lamp over, dude. Shit. Off the plant, please. Okay, not that way. This is why fixed camera angles suck. I can't see where I'm supposed to go. Really, Nate? Again, fixed camera angles. Okay, I didn't see it. I could go down here the first time. Down the light post. Look what we have here. <laughs> Whoops. You all right? What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Thank you, Sully. You suave 
Dude, you. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Meanwhile, the bartender doesn't Mr. care that any of this is going on. But I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Right? Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Yeah, by force, because, you know, a 30 some year old man could easily overpower okay. a 10 year old kid. Uh, I guess he'd what be what? This? 15. Parvis Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Orphanage. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well... Anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like El Dorado. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. So, this is a different yeah, treasure that clearly. Francis Drake had, aside from El Dorado. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. 
great things. Like getting shot and fighting naked zombie men and fighting demon yeti things. And they're gone. All right, lads. <laughs> really? I bet you were gonna put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's gonna bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. <laughs> All right. All right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good time. All right, Bright Eyes, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose Bright them. Eyes? <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? We finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. What? You make everything sound dirty. You? What? No. Well, hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? You got a better idea? Come on, Charlie, what's the hold up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Alright, alright. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. He's claustrophobic. Soon. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. That's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. Oh, there's a thought. Well, I'm already up here. The wall's too high. Here, let's move this thing over there. I wanted to finish climbing. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Yeah. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. I want to call a taxi. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Elena. Chloe. Hey, lads. All right, darling. Hello. Looks like hell spit you two back out. Uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. Welcome back, Chloe. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> well, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Uh, that's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, <sighs> easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So. Which door scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, it's better to have a gun them. and not need it than need it and not have it. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble? You shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew, didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. I didn't think I'd be seeing Chloe back. That is kind of awesome. Quiet. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Uh, nope, up I go. To waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. I mean, Chloe could climb up too. She's done this kind of crap. <laughs> Sorry about that. Is 
Scare the birds. Disrupt their satellite. They can't see the Super Bowl. <laughs> This is like the noisiest sneaking climbing ever. Oh, crap. Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? Did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, I bet there's treasure up there. Oh, I'm stuck down here. Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Mm, I hate myself now. Yo, open the door. Really not that door. I got to open the I have to open the garage door apparently. Because unlocking and opening the regular door is anybody it's not good car? enough. Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. I'm sure this is the right one. Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. We're here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Hey, there's some treasure. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. There's a secret passage behind this wall. Hey, check this out. Somebody stand on the other one, please. Oh, some kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You too. Like there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? It's not heavy enough. Well, this has got to be it. Oh. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Oh. Okay. Well, I have a goddamn cadaver. Um. Alakazine. Right, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Is this a mine shaft? He drives their car underground. Batman. Well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. 
Smart ass. Batman like drives his car underground. Any treasure over here? Nope. They stopped to chain up the fence behind them. Okay. So this is the way, there's no treasure. We should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. It's lay on, Macduff. <sighs> Can we hurry out of place, mate? Alright, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. Knew it. I just keep Called the claustrophobia. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is Macduff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? I guess Nate doesn't read much. I'm gonna stick with the silenced pistol. Ooh, I found me a nice ring. That is a ring, right? Bracelet. Even better. Worth more. Okay. Tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. <laughs> oh. That is a long way down. Really? Careful, it's slippery. I defeated one guy. I call bull. Get down. Until they're close enough. Okay. Ready when you are. This will teach me how to stealth kill. Hey, there's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks What's like through this door, though? Let me see if I can loosen it. Up, please. Thank you. Look out, here it comes. Done, mate. Up, please. Thank you. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. Yeah, well, I'm willing to bet there's treasure here. Nope. What is that just doing on the wall? I like this. A little climbing maze. How about you, Cutter? A little help there? Sure, I'll get you. All right, ready? Pull. Pull! Got it. Okay, Charlie, come on. Yeah. 
Oh, he came my way? There's the tunnel again. That's too far to drop though. We'll break our damn necks. Uh let's check this way first. Crap, it's a dead no end. No treasure. Move, move! Get out of my way! Down here. Where the hell are we headed now? What in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate, but whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Look at the ironwork. Well, it's gotta be Victoria, maybe older. Yeah. This stuff's been rusting for a century. Uh, any treasure? No, no treasure. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no way we're moving there. I don't think so. Uh. Hey, wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Guess who's gonna climb up to it? Right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good Any idea. volunteers? Guess who? <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm not climbing the rivets. Oh, ladder. Okay, I tried doing that twice and you told me no. Okay. Had to try for treasure. Always gotta try for treasure. Climb, monkey boy, climb. Right, I'm almost there. Why are you going down? Conveniently placed window. How convenient. What the hell is this place? Oh, shit, Fixed camera down. angles suck. Marlowe's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Around, please. Thank you. No more guns, huh? So when they shoot at us for being here, we'll just punch them to death. Hands up. Oh, uh, we must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. Got a boy. So why not my silenced gun? Also, 
doesn't Marlo think Charlie uh, is working for her? So why would he not be allowed down here? Well, I mean, he could be, you know, I caught Sullivan trying to sneak in. What the hell kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Gotta look for treasure. Station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's gotta be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. This has the makings of a firefight. We're gonna get into a firefight. Treasure. Any treasure. No treasure. We're definitely getting into a firefight. Shh, get back. We're shooting our way out of this. Nicely done, boys. Come on. Okay, so why couldn't I do that on the first guys? They saw us instantly. It's weirder. Wow. This stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. And this just happens to be underneath this London. This is really starting to give me the creeps. Yo, Sully. Oh no, Charlie. Get out of my way. Can't roll to make myself faster. No, no, no. Not through the door. They're probably still in there. Good point. I'm so glad that... This way. that Quietly, Nate. I'm actually kind of glad that that wasn't the right way. Because I wanted to be up here. Hey, over here. Nice Iron Maiden. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally. Drake's secret? will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't a ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. Well, you're fired, you buddy. Stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. Nobody look up, though. Can I Batman do drop on him? Yeah, because we totally understand what that means, Nate. The operation they got going here. Looking for treasure. Looking for treasure. Map. Can I look at the map? No, I can't look at the map. All right, let's go to the table. Look at all this stuff. 
Don't touch the bug in the jar. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any <laughs> book, wise ass. Belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know. Nice answer, Cutter. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. So are we going to Arabia then? They them once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L O H D N. That makes no sense. Huh. What is it? Gibberish. Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. No shit long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake shit. Golden Hind? It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. Right, oh, this is where that book find. is going to come into play with the figurehead on it. I already know what I'm doing. What are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting. What makes you think it's even here? It's the it's gotta be. duck. Well, it could be a Buckland Abbey for all we know. What? Buckland Abbey, it's a place you've never been there. Move on. Well, there's a chair there made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... No. No, it's gotta be here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm looking for that. I know I'm looking for that. That's amazing. Things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, we can't be screwing around like this. They'll be back any minute. You yeah, I'm. Hurry up. I'm looking. Ah. Oh, it's up here. Oh, shit, it's a trap. They're here. Take cover. I was going to say, I shot that one guy in the head. I'm out of ammo. Got it. Go. We're right oh. ammo. Oh. Their weapons. oh, right in the Oh, right in the dick. Right in the balls. I was right. Firefight our way out. Boy, a grenade would be nice right now. Oh, that's laser sight. Shit, they're everywhere. Damn it. Me. You got it. We've got to get out of here, Nike. 
I'm trying. Ow. We're getting flanked. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It picks up all ammo from all of the uh, nearby sources. Okay, where'd the guys with the sniper rifle laser sights go? They just left? I mean, if you're going to just walk up right next to me, I'm going to punch you. Save the ammo. Ow. I got one of the laser guys. Uh, they just disappeared. Where's their weapon? Ow, 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 ow. Cover Nate? No? Cool. Okay, punch him. Okay, these guys don't die in headshots. Hey, there's a ladder. Come on, hurry up. Hey, Pack, yeah, I did. Uh, do I keep the sawn off or do I stick with my machine gun? Where did it, where did it? I'm gonna stick with the machine gun. No, I'm gonna stick with the shotgun. I, I. You don't work, my boy. Uh, did we go down that ladder? Oh. I wish I'd kept the machine gun now. Ow. Wait, you you have a weekend day off? What is that nonsense? You never get a weekend day off. Can't touch this. Uh 
Oh, everything okay? That you had to request it off? Cutter, where the hell are we? It's the North Atwood Station. Come on. Oh, can I? Got nobody with that. Awesome. Uh, I'm sorry your friends did, uh, couldn't hang with you. Ow, ow, ow! Jerk! Flanking is illegal. Actually, I'm just gonna run up here and punch you. You're the only one left. Oh, did I smack him with the shotgun? Let me smack you with the shotgun. No, I'll just push you onto the rail. Okay, cool. Ow! I did not see where he came from. He blindsided me. Uh, is there treasure in this tunnel while we're fighting? What is this? Is this treasure? This is treasure! A flask! This is why I kept the shotgun. Close quarters. Uh, propane tank. No propane tank. Okay, okay. There's too much distance. Nate, get down! Down, please! Thank you! Boy, a grenade would be splendid right now. Let's get rid of the laser, guys. Okay. Ow. Man, that is a hail of bullets. I have zero grenades. Uh, if I had grenades, those wouldn't be gray. They would be, like, a bright white. Alright, let's get rid of these guys, maybe? Boy, these guys just don't die! Boy, Cutter, you are, uh... You are brave, my man! All right, there's one guy left. This is where a shotgun usually comes in and blasts me in the back. No, I want the shotgun. Up here, hurry. Ow, what? Who? Am I running away from these guys, or am I shooting them? I'm shooting them. Overkill for a lock, but... Nice shot! Yeah, it's 
heard that they would introduce propane tanks without sh teaching you the grenade mechanic yet, but... I guess they would expect that seasoned players would know what they're doing. You better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Do a job. Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Sure thing, Jason. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John 007. D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. He was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look. 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D. Oh my God! Did I piece that together just yeah, joking true. around? Dean Elizabeth and Walsingham. Is that really true? <laughs> Wait, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T. E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia, great film. He was an archaeologist, and even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. He traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth. Destroyed by God for its arrogance. Swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well, I like the immeasurable wealth part. Sodom and Gomorrah? I think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after. Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. Because it could be like El Dorado. Oh, he hit El Dorado, too. No, hang on a second. Because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just, it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian it's Sabian script. script. Right. Look, the Crusaders getting were trumped by Sully. City a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, no. I'll let the woman no, go to France. Go 600 miles of impossible wasteland. Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Wow. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Into the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. Ah, Nate's back in his... Usual attire. What? I missed the talks already. To you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle well, the of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time <laughs> you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? You are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. 
Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. Well, I think that's a good place to leave it for now. Six chap well, five chapters in one go. Can I climb on the car? No, I can't. Uh, but this is a great time to do my plug. If you're watching this on YouTube, come join me on Twitch sometime like my buddy Pac did. Uh, the link's in the description, twitch.tv slash altogamer2004. Uh, thank you to Pac for joining me. And stay tuned because I'm I'm hooked on Uncharted right now. I'll definitely be having more of this coming up. As always, play on and play hard and have fun. Because if you're not having fun, why are you even playing? Take care.